involved in conversations about hosting shows, and this comes up in my life, uh, I would say almost, if, if not annually, you know, twice annually, uh, essentially it, it always comes down to, well, is the audience going to relate to a black male as the lead dog, if you will, in this conversation? And I tell you, the most chilling conversation of this kind I've ever had was with a, an executive at a black cable network who said, you know, black men especially, who would identify with you, um, like to watch sports and pornography, but we're not convinced they're going to watch the news. And I said, you know, that's crazy. I can't walk a block in this country, and I'm talking about a block in any neighborhood, much less go into a, an airport or uh, go to the gym without people saying, hey, you're Juan Williams, and here's what I think. And why aren't you telling, why aren't you saying what I think? And they are just as likely to be uh, black men as anybody else uh, who see an, a face that they recognize from TV or a voice that they know is on the radio talking about politics. But again, in terms of the, the game that the executives play and even executives at uh, organizations that are focused on the minority audience, there's just not a belief that the minority audience is going to respond to a high level of political uh, uh, discourse in this country. I think if you look at the history of BET, for example, it's just pretty stark in terms of the absence of news product. Um, and uh, the failure to invest in news product there, to me, is, is sinful. Uh, 